Minneapolis Police Department for the last three weeks mm -hmm. since the resignation of Janae Harto. And nearly everyone who spoke at the public hearing asked council members to allow him to continue. Because of his relationship with the community and because he's well liked by the people in the department, that he is the one person who can bridge that gap. As a youth worker, I am proud to say thank you, Rondo, for what you've already done. Can't wait to see what you're going to do. Besides members of the community, multiple officers from MPD and other departments stood up in support. I don't think there's been a chief here in the last 30 years that has been ingrained and rooted in the city of Minneapolis. I've seen him in action with the public. I've seen him in community meetings, reaching out. He's a consensus builder. There were some people who spoke about the historic nature of the appointment. Arredondo would be the first black police chief in Minneapolis. And at the end of the public hearing, the Public Safety Committee members each praised Rondo. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Before voting unanimously to recommend his appointment. And there was actually just one community member who spoke out against him. And uh, uh, the full council will vote on this on, on August 18th. It's fully expected that they will follow the recommendation of the committee. And really the only other thing that was remotely negative out here today was a lot of people asked the council to make sure that Arredondo has the freedom to make major changes within the Minneapolis Police Department. Julie. All right. Thank you, Lou.